a mysterious incident in Gloucestershire came to the attention of one of the museum's space experts. It happened in the small rural town of Winchcombe one February evening, right outside the house of Rob and Catherine Wilcock. And it was to change our understanding of how life on Earth began forever. Hannah, our daughter, heard something shatter on the driveway. By now, there were reports that a fireball had been seen in the skies above Winchcombe. So Rob took a picture of the mystery rubble and sent it to the museum. I found some rubber gloves, put it into a clean plastic bag. The phone rang, and uh, that was when the scientists uh, got in touch with us. A local meteorite expert was sent straight over. Within an hour, he arrived, and uh, he got on the phone to the Natural History Museum straight away and said to uh, Dr Ashley King, you've got to get yourself up here. When he was sent the photos, Ashley was astonished. I got the pictures from the Wilcock family. Uh, who'd found this splat, and it was just like, wow, we've got a meteorite. It was really rare for us to find a meteorite in the UK. It's going to be a career highlight for all of us. Ashley immediately drove to Winchcombe. He started to examine the meteorite on a table that we put out, and they used my kitchen scales to weigh the meteorite on, so it was rather a surreal and bizarre situation. When a tiny piece of rock or dust from space comes to our atmosphere, we get this bright streak that we call a meteor. They can be going up to 70 kilometers per second. When they come through the atmosphere, they slow down, and the outer surface starts getting heated up by friction. And what you see is this really bright streak that we call the fireball. When Ashley examined it, he could tell the meteorite had been on an incredible journey, traveling around 200 million miles through space before landing in Winchcombe. We know that it came from somewhere near Jupiter. So it started off life on an asteroid in the outer edges of what we call the asteroid belt, which is between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. The meteorite discovery was the biggest story to hit Winchcombe in quite a while. A meteorite may put a bit of our drive into the museum. Rob and Catherine donated the meteorite to the museum. And remarkably, this small piece of rock could hold the secrets of how all life on Earth began.